Um, we have, you know, we have seen MAGA Republicans attack our democracy. We have seen MAGA Republicans take away our rights, uh, make threats of violence, uh, including this weekend. And that is uh, what the president was referring to uh, when you all asked me uh, last week about the semi-fascism comment. And he was clear, not all Republicans, there are some mainstream Republicans. He mentioned uh, Governor uh, of Maryland, Larry Hogan, uh, and talked about uh, about him and what he's been doing and how he said, called him out of being that uh, mainstream Republican. But we have seen these MAGA extreme Republicans making these kind of comments, uh, which is uh, which is dangerous. And, uh, and this is what we are talking about when Joe Biden when Joe Biden was making his comments, uh, President Biden was making his comments uh, last week. Look, this is a president that believes when you are president of the United States, it is your duty, uh, it is your responsibility to have the strongest voice when, of de when it comes to democracy, when speaking about democracy. Uh, and that's what you're going to continue to do. this president. Thing that the president has been fighting for throughout uh, his Senate days as vice president, and he'll continue uh, to fight for this as president. No, no specific color on that. Uh, you know, we're going to uh, his uh, his hometown, which is uh, important to him, uh, which is very close uh, to him. Uh, but uh, I don't have any specifics. It's just you know, we uh, we go to uh, we go to to places where we can actually be able to deliver our message to the American people, especially all the work that we have uh, we have done here in, in Washington, with congressional Democrats. Uh, we are acutely aware of that. Certainly, that we are a moderating. Um, look, a lot of this is, uh, you know, when we talk about uh, that MAGA agenda, the MAGA extreme Republicans, this is it. This is congressional Republicans who are touting this MAGA agenda, including banning abortion in cases of rape, uh, incest, and the health of the mother. And so this is something that the president certainly is going to call out. We saw the Texas District Court affirm that medical providers can uh, deny life-saving and health-preserving care for women, uh, even if they are suffering from hemorrhaging or life-threatening hypertension. Uh, thankfully, we saw in Idaho, a federal uh, Idaho district court determined that women there will continue to receive life-saving uh, and health-preserving emergency care, including abortion care. Uh, but you know, this is um, this is something that the president's going to continue to speak to. Uh, how extreme uh, this agenda is. Um, Department of Justice is looking into it and answering your question. Uh, again, this is uh, you know we refer folks to them. They're going to do what they can to protect uh, to protect women as they're uh, crossing over into states uh, and uh, and make sure that uh, you know we can do everything that we can uh, so that uh, women can make their decision their own decisions on what they can do uh, to protect uh, their health uh, and to protect their life. I guess I'm asking.